And we thought maybe what is happening is that there are two forces. At one hand, we all want to look at ourselves in the mirror and feel good about ourselves. On the other hand, we can cheat a little bit and still feel good about ourselves. So maybe what is happening is that there's a level of cheating we can't go over, but we can still benefit from cheating uh, at, a, at a low degree as long as it doesn't change our impressions about ourselves. We call this like a personal fudge factor. Now, how would you test a personal fudge factor? So we got people to the lab and we said we have two tasks for you today. First, we asked half the people to recall either 10 books they read in high school or to recall the Ten Commandments. And then we tempted them with cheating. But those people who tried to recall the Ten Commandments, given the opportunity to cheat, did not cheat at all. Now, Ten Commandments is something that is hard to bring into the education system, so we said, why don't we get people to sign the honor code? We got people to sign, I understand that this short survey falls under the MIT honor code, then they shredded it, no cheating whatsoever. And this is particularly interesting because MIT doesn't have an honor code. <laughs>